I know we talk about how this has affected people, I guess, negatively uh, or impacted them negatively, but it also can, you know, lead to growth, right? If this is traumatic, and as people pointed out, um, we are now seeing lots of people exhibiting symptoms of, you know, post-traumatic stress. Um, I think that we can also have post-traumatic growth and people can grow from this. And so in the moments when the birthdays or the anniversaries or the weddings or the funerals were not what they were two years ago, we do have really valuable opportunities to turn them into something meaningful, just different. Um, different doesn't mean that it's going to be bad or not meaningful. Um, it just means it's going to be different. Hard, sure, perhaps, um, but it's still an opportunity for growth. And I know that's hard sometimes for my clients to hear, you know? Um, so again, I think it's the other side is acknowledge the grief. You know, that's the other part of this is to, if somebody says like this stinks, I wasn't able to walk in a graduation or people couldn't go to, we've had a lot of people have funerals where they couldn't attend or it just wasn't the same. Let's grieve that. Let's grieve the fact that it wasn't what you wanted it to be. It couldn't be the way you wanted it to be. And it wasn't your choice. You know, your hands were tied. So let's start there. I think that's also really important um, is to acknowledge that grief and to grieve it. 